What's going on with you, KJ, in your house? What do you mean? What's going on with you and your house? What's going on with my and my house? Nothing much. Hey. You stole a dollar in that house or what? If I am? Uh. uh no, I'm trying to see if somebody will take some charge. Gonna be honest with you. Yeah, you know, I, I think some of them are waiting for you to take charge, right? All right, let them speak up about it. I tried to take charge in the beginning. They didn't like it. You know, I step back and do my thing. What do you mean in the beginning? Explain. What happened? No, I was trying to kind of like tell people what to do and what not to do. Suddenly I didn't see people run, only Smalls. Me and Smalls, we butt head, you know. Smalls is Smalls, I am I, you know what I mean? Like he is more particular than me, basically, when it comes to shit. So... Then I step back, then I focus on this shit, and now, like, suddenly, me and Smalls have probably not done anything towards the house, and the other day it became a problem, they wanted a meeting, so yeah. Well, I wouldn't say it's a problem. I think the problem was, like, Yuki and Dre was trying to do shit with the house, and they experienced the Smalls I experienced, like, two weeks ago, when I tried to do shit with the house. What happened with that? What happened, you try to do, you change it up a little bit, and Smalls tells you that he will take his things and leave. Because it's not done the Smalls way. Right. So, that's why they wanted to have the talk, and yeah, like, yeah, we had to talk. What do you mean? You, you're telling me I need to micromanage the people in the house? Hey, did you ever see yourself as a leader? Why the fuck are you asking people? about that? Yeah, I'm a head of pharma right now. Okay, what does that make you head of? What do you do? I'm head of the organization for the company that handles drugs. Do you have responsibilities or are you just out there slinging? No, I have responsibilities of um, getting people do shit basically and uh, making money for the company. Right. That's more like a commander role, yeah? Uh, yeah. But do you ever see yourself leading, though? Leading what? A group of people. Yeah. Uh, I answer to people, like they answer to you. No. Uh, I don't know. Why not? Why? Because the group that you live with right now, by the looks of it, need that shit. They need someone to motivate them. Mm. And it, it just telling people what to do isn't like that. That's not it, right? It's about motivating. Like, okay, why you know, are you bringing this up? Why? About the rocks? why are you bringing this up about my household? Doesn't you guys have problems in your household? Yeah, it's not about that, KJ. Yeah, but why is this about me and my house? What's going on? Oh, you see, I'm looking at options, KJ. Okay, yeah, so why not you move in and plans. you tell people what to do? That's not it, though, is it? You like that shit. No, I don't. You know this. <laughs> yeah, and you know me. I, like... I'm gonna be honest with you, like, I, I can take charge, I, I don't mind it, I can tell people what to do. But not many people like the way I do shit, you know, because I'm very direct. Yeah. And either you, either you handle that or you don't handle that, you know? And I feel like our house was made of, of people who knew each other to get a house to have a house, you know? To not kind of like fall behind. To, to get a place to grow and, and kind of like everybody have the doors open for whatever comes in the future. I will not be able to babysit like adapted, six though. people. I'm going to be honest with you. You shouldn't have to babysit them though, right? Some I feel, just, some I don't feel, yeah. It just nudges every now and again, right? It's just like sometimes you're hand feeding people, but you also don't want to watch them 
Yeah, that's the problem because I, I call I call all of them every day. I call them all. I, I when I wake up, I ring every person in my house to see who's around. I check in what they're doing. I check in as well, you know, if they're good, if they need anything, and all of that. Yeah. And everybody has a direction to do, so I don't see like what's the issue is, you know. And yesterday it seemed like they wanted to do heist, and I haven't heard that like the first time I heard that, you know. Nobody has been interested in doing that, you know. Dom, she wants well, the to. The reason I brought that up was because Smalls had spoken to me a couple of days ago. And I didn't have the time to talk to you because we just didn't see each other. Yeah, but why doesn't he talk to me about that then? Like, I know Frogger is a good hacker. I know Smalls like to do, but, but Smalls is like this, you know? He wanted to sling one day and suddenly you have the moonshine, you know? And he's like freaking all out and going to do the moonshine. And the next day he hates his life, you know? Like, this guy is... But Smalls has no direction. No direction? That's his problem. He has no set direction that he's being pushed towards. You, like, in that meeting when he's decided that he's going to be the one that handles like the expansion of your butt coins and that kind of stuff you gave him a job yeah that's where he either sinks or swims if he fucks that all up that's purely on him you you gave him that opportunity as a household yeah but i i wish that he didn't take need. that though i wish that one of the other ones took it that's why i was very quiet you know i was seeing who was taking charge because everything in that household is either smalls me Dre. Everybody else is kind of like floating around. I told Yuki to get her weed shit up. She wants to do the weed stuff, you know? Like, I see her more decorating the house and fucking do group six than actually talking to the guy under the bridge. But she still wants to do it, you know? Like, everybody wants to do everything, you know? And they jump ship straight up when there's new shit coming around the corner. Yeah. And then that leaves holes everywhere. Yeah, that leaves holes, but, like, I'm not going to be the one who's sitting there and tell you, you have to do this, you know? Like, do whatever makes you happy, man. I mean, it's the same problem that we had in Seaside, though, KJ, is that people won't speak up about things with us sit there and be uh, upset spaghetti about those things, right? It's part and parcel with dealing with criminals and people that are more suited to follow. Yeah. That's that's the rough thing about it, right? Hey, I don't want to see them falling behind. I know that you've already done the heist and that kind of shit, right? But you hadn't even told them about what happens in it. Why? Because we haven't been able to meet up everybody. Like, you can call them all up and see if they're around. I don't need to I want to talk to you. Like, it, it's not like a conversation that I, like... We were supposed to have this meeting, we were told like on sa Saturday, and of course, you know, this meeting was when I should tell them what was going on. Mm. It's not about me not holding shit, you know, against them, if that's what you think. Just because you're there well, one day and you see something, it doesn't all. matter, you know, like, it doesn't mean that, you know, I don't do things or tell them shit. No, it's it's not that at all, KJ. I'm not having No, but you bring it up like that, you know, like you had to kind of like bring it out of me, like that is not the way it's done. No, my thing is that I would have thought you'd be excited to tell them. Like, even if you tell them individually and that kind of shit. It seems like there might be a little bit more of a disconnect there. Yeah, but I I don't know. Like, like you would have been excited to do it, right? Yeah. Of course I was excited to do it. See, when I did the ammunition, as soon as I had time with Smalls, I told him all about it straight off. Because I didn't know you'd done it, and I wanted him to pass the information to you. Right? So you guys were aware, because any time I learn yeah, shit, I don't know if you've noticed this, I'm always trying to push it down to you guys so you guys know. Yeah, and you told it to Smalls, and he forgot about it. Hmm. But had you been, like, our times were together, then I would have told you too. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. I want to make sure that you know these things too. Yeah. Because I don't want you guys falling through the cracks of anything. Not saying that you're going to. I just want to make sure that you guys learn the same shit I learned. All about the contingencies, KJ. Okay, so where is all of this coming from? I don't understand. 
Well, like I said, I'm trying to look at what I want to do. Hey. Okay. There's shit happening in the house at the moment. There's too many people that don't want to follow and but they also don't want to fucking lead. And too many people doing stuff that is self-serving. Yeah. That's the problem. But that is... That will always be the problem. Guys, we're not a group of people who are in a group together, per se. We have a household. Is that how you want it to stay? This is how I want it to stay. I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't know. You thought about what you want for your future? What I want for my future? Yeah, I go out there and grab it if I need it, if I want it. I already did. So you're content right now? Hmm? You're content right now. What do you mean I'm content right now? Like I'm I'm happy where I am right now, that's what you're asking? Yes, that's what content means. <laughs> Try to be as smart as this fucker. <laughs> yeah, I'm not complaining. I didn't ask if you're complaining. I asked if you're content. If you want something bigger. Hey, come on, I wouldn't be here if I didn't want anything bigger. I believe what I'm doing right now will lead to some bigger things in the future, and that's why I'm doing it. I wouldn't have done it, you know, if not. Mm. And I try to bring the household with me as well to tell them what to do, you know, if they want to be in on this, you know, to try to kind of like get them under my wings and, and join me in what I'm doing if they want to do this you know and everybody who said yes I told them what they need to do and I will have a spot open for them you know We're bringing them along but some people take a little longer time to you know get there than other people and then you know the train is already gone then you bring people along and the next day you know there's something new shit people talk about on the street and they're gone You see, that's the difference with a lot of people, right? Is that uh, myself, yourself, uh, we're very much, and we've had this chat before, we're very much old in the fact that if we want to do something, make change, we do it, right? Mm -hmm. Then where we differ is I try to guide people more into what uh, they should do. Yeah, and make sure that they're they're getting those nudges to get there. Mm -hmm. I think you get frustrated with the fact that they're not taking those opportunities that are standing right there, staring them in the face. Yeah, because I will not guide them. Because I feel like if people want it, you need to go out there and get it. I cannot hold exactly your exactly what we used to do. Yeah, we still do. Yes. Yeah. Because they've already been told about what they need to do. I already told them if they want this, you go and take it. You know, I'm here. Just finish up what you need to do. I told them what they need to do as well. And I can help them along the way. Yeah. But I cannot every day kind of like, you know, kick your butt in and make you do it, you know? I will not do that, you know? Like, I think that's the difference between me and you. Yeah. You know, a shit thing for me mm -hmm. is if I want to make the change that, that I've been thinking about doing is I've got to listen to Benji being like, ha ha, I told you so. When it had nothing to do with him. Nope. But sometimes you just need to swallow the pride or the ego or whatever it comes. I know that you don't care whatever he says, but... You know it will be there. You know it will be there for a couple of weeks. He even did that to me, you know? So... If you want it, you just need to take it, basically. The 
do I think is for the better good for the future? That's why I went into this, you know? I went into this because I wanted to get the information about the laundromat. I wanted to get the information because I know that they will hit this shit quicker than my house or will ever, ever be... I don't think we will ever be able to hit it before they had done everything, you know? I got to the next stage, you know what I mean? And at least I got the information about it. That's why I'm there. That's what you need to ask yourself as well, you know? Yeah, I was very surprised that we were potentially, um, unless someone, like a group's done it twice, one of seven groups that hit the ammunition. Mm -hmm. I was very surprised. And fortunately enough, that was to do with Michael and making sure that we had the racks and pushing for that. But even Michael got given shit for doing that at the start. I'm pretty sure at some point Michael's going to leave that house. Okay. So what is the issue with your house though? Like, it seems like you guys have a lot of issues as well. Like, Well, it's kind of the opposite of your house, right? Is the fact that, like I was saying, we've got people that don't want to follow. Mm -hmm. I'm standing there being giving people advice like I always do and saying, just look at this picture. Like, this is everything. Mm -hmm. Make your choice on what you do. I couldn't mm -hmm. give a fuck either way and uh, no one wanting to lead because everyone doesn't want to follow then everyone just butts heads they're stupid yeah and it's so disjointed yeah like you've got uh, uh michael mcgregor and jenny in a little subgroup together right. you've got dahlia money in a subgroup nick and veronica in a subgroup I'm by myself, Barry's by herself. And it's just, I did so much for making Nike and getting yep. us all the fucking furniture for that shit. And some people did help with doing stuff like the website and all that kind of shit, sure. But without the blueprints, we wouldn't have had the furniture to fucking sell. Yeah. The amount of money that I've pissed into that shit, I'm down like 100k now. Yeah. Just on that shit alone, I ain't getting that money back. And it, everyone had the possibility to make money there, and no one wanted to do it. Yeah, they sold a bit of furniture here and there, but no one actively pushed it hard. You kind of need to do that if this is what they want to do, you know what I mean? That is the... It's kind of like similar issues, but not at the same time, you know what I mean? Similar issues, different... Different people. topics, yeah, different people. Like, yeah. And I think in your household, you have people traits. Yeah, and you have a couple of people with very strong opinions. And they've yeah. been used to maybe be alone, you know, or do their own thing. And like, for example, like I just take a sample, the Simone brothers, you know what I mean? Like when they came into Seaside, like fucking six, seven years ago, like they were millionaires, you know what I mean? They had the heritage, a lot of shit, you know, they had everything like houses fucking flies helicopters cars they were like well known you know in the underground now kind of like you know they lost everything as well and they're maybe not used to it you know like the hard work you need to do and the understanding of like focus on some shit you know like you said you guys have the nike like you have a fucking gold mine if you wanted to yeah but it seems like the only you who thinks about the gold mine and you know it's uses like all of your energy it. on it i changed it so the the people who sell the furniture get 80 percent of the profits a lot of money that can be made yeah from selling furniture because people weren't selling it because the money originally was supposed to go to the house and start paying back people that put money into shit yeah because people happened. people want their own money you know that's the problem so that's why i changed it so then they can have their own money mm -hmm. and it's still been slow yeah, because they jump on I'm the next big thing, you know? Nokia. How many of them are down in the sewers right now? Um, a few of them. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Still, I'm I'm doing the weed stuff, but I'm focusing on the crowbar shit. You know what I mean? And yeah, didn't that go to shit real quick? Yeah, it did. 
fucking material prices through the fucking roof as well. We'll make some yeah. shit though, but I talked to Billy. Billy was uh, coming up to me yesterday. He was like, he wants to dabble into other businesses. And I'm, I'm like, I, I could be stubborn and say, hey, no, you made the deal with me. Let's skip it, you know, but I don't have heart for that, you know, like, so. I want to get Billy into your house. You want Billy to get into my house? Yeah. Okay. I think it'll be beneficial for you all. Yeah, and he will probably benefit from that as well. I think he'll grow a lot from that. But I think that it will... Because he's wanting to learn to hack and that kind of shit. And he does the roof running shit and he does it better than I do. Mm -hmm. um, and he um, is good at fucking lockpicking cars and that kind of shit. But I think that he has the potential to do that. He can also hack Wi-Fi. Ooh, that is good. So I think that he will be quite beneficial to you guys and potentially me if I pull the pin. Yeah. Which is why I kind of want to set him up there. Mari oh. also says that if I leave, that she'll leave, and she's been mentioning wanting to go to you guys. <laughs> But the problem with Mari is that I feel like she'll still be in the same position as she is in the current house. Yeah. I told her to find a group of people who is um, awake when she's awake, you know, and that will make her more happier. Because it seems like that is one of the biggest issues. Like that she... is a problem. What? The same as Mari, right? Is that uh, it's not usually till I've been awake for like five plus hours till they all start waking up. Yeah. And then they're off starting their day doing their own things anyway. Not that I care about having someone to do shit with all the time, right? It's just... It's just a phone call, you know? Be like, hey, I just woke up, I see you around, you know? You want to hit something, you want to do something together, you know? Just get the phone call. You know what yeah. I mean? Because you are always the one on the other end doing that shit to everybody else. That's why I stopped calling Dre. Was it never call? It, it was always just me every day checking in on all of them. It was like, all right, we'll, we'll just let them see if they come and check in to, with me now. Mm -hmm. And some of them did for a bit, and then they just stopped it. And then it's just like, eh. I'm trying to think of ways to move your house further in progression, setting something up there. Like I said, the, the time that I decide that I finally had enough more. The possibilities is there, you know. You have, you have people, you know, who is willing to do stuff. The biggest issue with my household, I would say, is like we started off like we called the house like the office, you know, like I said from the beginning. And kind of like a set of people who knew each other, you know, five years ago, got together to get a house before it went too expensive and stuff like that. We kind of like progressed towards, you know, whatever. I didn't know people wanted to do highs, of course, smalls, you know, but smalls want to do everything, you know what I mean? Like. If you can fucking build a rocket tomorrow and go to the moon, who will be on that shit? You know, it will be done with moonshine. So mm. it's it, it's kind of like, and I understand that, you know, I'm kind of like that myself, but I like to finish what I've started first. That is me though, because it will not go away, you know? But um, at the same time, he's good, you know, with, the, with that shit, because he get the information that needed and stuff like that. When it comes to Dre, you know, Dre is just with his weed game, so he will be there, you know, with that shit. It takes a little bit of extra time to do shit. He needs to like rethink and rethink the shit he's doing again, you know, to figure out, okay, I do this. I feel like when it comes to Dom, Dom is maybe the one who's most distant because she go and do sanitation with Ivan, you know? Ivan and me is not on the best term. I just called him out in the beginning and he was angry and upset and I told him a peanut brain and yeah, that's it. <laughs> and um, What did you call him out on? Well, we we invited Dom and Ivan together to like to get in on the house, and um, 
Ivan was thinking like I was thinking, you know, 10 years ago. You know what I mean? Very suspicious about everything. Seeing ghosts everywhere and being very afraid of what could possibly happen. Compared to that we need to do something before, you know, the train is gone. You know what I mean? And the train, I mean yeah. the houses. So we kind of like rushed it. And he was, you know, because of this Chino Jr. guy, you know, like I knew his father, but I don't know his son. You know, his son was here and we brought him in. And he was like, yeah, what if this guy wants to leave tomorrow and there's some issues? And I said, yeah, well, then, you know, he get his money he put into the house and he's off. You know what I mean? Turns out he's just like his fucking dad anyway. Yeah, yeah. He, who could have seen that coming? Who could have seen that coming? But, like, he, he was bringing up so many issues, you know, that could potentially happen. And I said, like, you're right. Maybe all of these issues will happen one time or another. But I cannot think about it right now because it's more urgent to get the house than think about the issues with the people inside the house and the potential of you know ghosts in the future that will probably be there but then we handle it there you know what i mean and he got upset about yeah. me and i called him out on it you know like uh, i can't function like this you know if you if you don't want to buy into a house with us it's fine you know I, I i don't care we just want to give you the opportunity you know i knew you five years ago and uh, if you want it go for it if not you know i don't have time for this and yeah then i met him <laughs> later as well like we had like a long conversation about it but um i cannot you know and after that he was a little bit sour towards me so it's okay i, I don't care you know i just move on i let like dre call him when we need the materials and he sells to dre and it you know i'm getting stuff anyway yeah but that's the thing you know like we never discussed these issues before we came into the house the only thing we agreed on was like this is the office Everybody keep your doors open for whatever opportunities that's out there and take it if you can, you know? And we kind of like double in and share information and, and move from there. So we never agreed to be a heist crew or a drug crew or a crew at all, you know? We're just a household with a bunch of people with different interests, you know? I think all houses is slowly going to evolve though, right? Yeah, of course, every house will probably do that, you know, evolve, but... I'm trying to calm down every day because she's the one who is most out of the house, you know? I try to include everybody in the house to feel like this is your house, but... The other day, I think, you know, like... Yuki and, and, and Smalls went into a huge argument. That's why we had this meeting yesterday. Because they tried to do some changes, you know? And changes for Smalls is kind of like doomsday, you know? It's like the world is going under because he's not approving that changes, you know? So she wanted a big meeting and um, yeah, I talked to Smalls and told him, you know, stop bringing this shit up every time it goes against you that you're going to take your shit and leave, you know, it, it's it's not the argument, you know, if you're disagreeing with what they're doing, set down a meeting, have a, you know, conversation, not this banter about like a kid in the kindergarten, you know, who's not getting his fucking lollipop, you know, and want to take his bag and and, and run away. Mm. That is bullshit, you know, it leads nowhere. So I told him that, you know, so we had like. A lot of talks, you know, to get where we are right now. I have a question. Yum. If slash when I pull the pin, mm -hmm. decide that I'm done being in Polito. Yum. Do you think that the two of us could actually guide that house to a good direction and get progression going and heist and shit? Yeah. I don't see an issue with that. Is that something you would want to do? Is that something I want to do? As long as everybody agree to it and people are not fucking pissy about me being direct, yeah? Because you know, the two of us always tend to work together quite well. Yeah, we do. I think it's because we're very honest you know and we we don't we don't take it to heart when people are arguing with you or against you you know what i mean like we understand it's a discussion about something because i no, think I that with my guidance that it would be able to help in your heavy handedness when you need to be will work quite well together I think so as well and um 
I just need to get, I guess, one on one talk with the people in the house and what they want to do. You know, who wants to be a, be a part of this and who wasn't, who who don't want to be a part of it. You know. And if everybody agrees and we go with, you know, then we go hard. And then they need to, yeah. Don't complain. Well, they can complain, you know, but have a civil discussion about it. Just as an FYI, if that does happen, KJ, by the way, chances are Billy's going to end up living in a bush outside. I think so it's better to guys get him inside then. You guys want him in. So you were talking about you, Mari, and potentially Billy then? Well, my main concern is... Uh, I think that Billy will be beneficial for the progression of the house. Uh, yeah. I think that he has a lot of potential. Yeah, he can be a moron at times. But I think he does actually have a lot of potential. I don't think he's a gangster by any means. No, but it's but not about being a gangster. The shit I'm doing up north is gangster, you know? The shit I'm doing for the company, you know? I'm holding it down up there, you know? I have a lot of boys who works with me up there, you know? And we hold it down, basically. That has nothing to do with the household, you know? You're thinking about a high screw with the house, yeah? Somewhat, yeah. Yeah, so basically who it will be it will be you... Me, Smalls, maybe Dre, maybe Yuki, uh, probably Louis. Frog here will be in on this, or Frog. He's like a hacker guy. Then I guess this Billy dude then. Mari, potentially, and I know Mari wants to do shit, but again, she will have that same issue that she has up north with us. We're around when she's not around. I don't think yeah. that will be beneficial for her. She's in a weird spot with her times. Yeah. It will be perfect for her to find a household with people who are around when she's around, you know? That will be her perfect scenario. It's not that I don't want her, you know, be happy or live with us or whatever. I, I, I really don't care. I don't. Th I think she will have the same issues that she has right now. Hmm. Because she has spoken to me, she hasn't said what it is, but uh, you know, you can read between the lines sometimes. She's waiting for me to pull the pin. Yeah. I think a lot of people are, to be honest. That's the thing as well, like, I... Mm. Sorry to say, I kind of like... I understand some people are like that, but I hate it as well, you know, like... If they're unhappy, they should just move on. And yeah, stop. like, why why, why stay yeah. if you're unhappy? Why wait for you to do your thing, you know? And then kind of, like, follow you and use that as an excuse why you're doing what you're doing kind of thing, Exactly you know? what I said to Billy before. Yeah, I, I, I don't like that. And I feel like some of the boys and the girls who lives with me is kind of like the same, you know? <sighs> Frustrating. People don't have the, the motivation themselves because... I'm not waiting for someone to leave. I'm just trying to decide what I want to do. But I think it's beneficial for me to try and force these people who don't want to follow to do something about it and change how they are. Or do I just pull the pin on it and just work on what I know that I can uh, grow and turn into something better? Say what I said to Mari. Whatever you do, do what makes you happy. Because when it comes to it all, every motherfucker you meet on the street or wherever you are in Los Santos right now, to think about themselves. I know it's a hard thing to do, but everybody's like that right now. Because there's no kind of like... There's multiple directions to go, but everything leads to kind of like the same goal, you know? Yeah. Money, power, cars, iron fucking houses. It's just the route you're taking to get there, basically. Then again, if you want to do heist, there's a different thing, you know? You need to invest a lot of fucking money into this fucking Bitcoin shit. A lot of money. And for me, that's why I was quiet yesterday, because I knew about this stuff, you know? But last time we did shit, it was me and Smalls who put all our money together. And I basically wrote down people to pay me back, you know? That's what I did. To get where we are right now. They pay you back? Yeah. Yeah, not every, like, not everybody's been around and... 
yeah, mostly is paid back. But that's it. Why, why aren't the other doing that? You know, if they want to do heist, why, why are you not doing that? Why, why don't you just I agree. do it? You know what I mean? What we did. And that but is kind of that, like the frustration. That's the point. Yeah. It, it's the, the difference between us and them with that aspect, right? Is uh, we do things to, to make it better. Um, yeah. People, the other people look at it, put it in too hard basket, move on, wait for someone else to fix it. Yeah, no, I see the issue, but I guess they will see it soon, so they deal with it. And that that's okay. Not everybody's, you know, the same or can do it or whatever. But it, it's nothing wrong for you to buy all the materials and and get the rack and get it done, you know, and and start doing it. Everybody wants to do it. Why do smalls need to do? It? Why do I need to do? It? You can do it yourself. You know, you can order it. You can go out there and find fucking good prices for the materials and buy it just put it down in the computer that you know you need everybody to send you money do you know what the problem is they don't have money because they don't do shit that is the biggest issue every fucking day is the same shit don't have money hey well i can tell you now if i pull the pin that shit i have to change yeah if it means that they're not pulling their weight to the point where becoming detrimental to the group as a whole and we just find someone else yeah because right now with how expensive shit is mm -hmm. you need to start getting motivated for that shit and it should have actually been happening weeks ago but you can't really dwell too much on that you need to do something about it now yeah it's all well and good to say oh well i don't care i'll just wait until the shit becomes cheaper and then i can do it all and that kind of shit but you know deep down everyone wants to still do it now yeah of course of course but the thing is for me though like and this is my ego talking okay this is me being egoistic i get invited with the company i've done it you know i've done the laundry man i've been down at the pier you know Then again, should I stop there? No, probably not, but... There's nothing wrong for, for somebody in the household to buy two and a half thousand materials, you know what I mean? Circuit boards, you can buy it. Yeah. You know you will get the money back, you know? You can order the fucking rack, you know? While I'm up north slinging and doing my shit, you do that and I pay you the money. Like I said yesterday, I, like, just tell me how much I need to send you, I send you the money. Then, you know, when everybody was, like, looking at who who's gonna take this, everybody was pointing at fucking... Fucking Smalls, you know, to do it. Kinda the reason like, I pointed at Smalls to do it is because he was the one that was complaining about it. Okay, yeah, I didn't Mate. know that. Then again, he... If he, he wants to sit there complaining about it, start putting the initiative into doing it. Yeah, but he's the one who actually do that, though. I, I'm not going to hold that against him. Like, there, there, there is a, like, a lot of, you know, I can bring up because, like, the way he acts sometimes. But when it comes to the initiative, he always takes initiative. Like, I'm not going to hold that against him. He always takes the initiative. The only problem with him is, like, either his way or the highway, you know? Well, that'll change. Um, if you move into our house, you will see what I'm talking about. You will see his tantrum. With Smalls, it's all about, uh, and I've learned this over the years with him, it's about your approach. Well, trust uh, me. Is, you have a very heavy-handed approach. Switch it up. I approached him the way he approached me when he'd be angry, you know? He called me up and was like pissing off and saying he's gonna take everything and leave. I responded with the same shit he always responded with, you know? I don't know. I don't care. Whatever. You do what you want to do. I just take my things and leave, you know, if it's an issue. And then I left. It took him fucking 10 minutes. He called me up and said he was sorry. I think he understood. Mm. Yeah. I still need to decide what I want to do. 
You need to do what makes you happy, basically. I think that's the most important thing. I think that's what everybody does. But you can't wait too long, you know? Then the train will go. Like, you know, I think you already know that. Problem with me is, uh... I pull the pin, I lose a lot of money, but I don't think I'm ever getting that money back. So... And just take with you, you know, your value, basically, what you put in. Yeah, that's the shit thing about me, is I wouldn't want to do that. As easy as it could be that I take all the blueprints with me. I wouldn't do that. Yeah. It would probably cause more problems for more the future. Yeah. Exactly. It's a shitty thing, though. You feel like you need to start over again, you know? Yeah. But maybe that's what's needed. 